Welcome back. It's not often that you're told if you come and take our course, we will all but guarantee you a job, and that job could last for two to three decades. We have Susan Smurthwaite joining us today. She's with the Academy of Learning. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. We're talking about this because it's a, a high demand profession, is caring for seniors. We all know it for the next several years, if not decades, we're going to see this need for care for seniors grow. And that's what this course is all about at the Academy of Learning. Yeah, it's a great program that we're running. We actually run a hands-on program. Um, we teach right in the facility. And the idea behind that is to desensitize the students so that they're prepared when they get out there on practicum and preceptorship. They're already comfortable with dealing with people with dementia or Alzheimer's, or they're used to the, the smells of an institution. So basically you do your Burke learning in the morning and then we go upstairs and we practice what we preached in the morning. So essentially you've got a class going on in the Hamlets where uh, mm -hmm. the, that's a, a senior's facility. Uh, the class is going on and then you go upstairs right away and, and you're learning one-on-one -on -one right away. So if we're teaching you lifts and rail systems into a shower in the morning, we talk about it and discuss it and then in the afternoon we go up there and we practice on each other. Hugely effective, Susan, is what I would say to that. Uh, tell me this, uh, how, how much of a demand is there? You have some stats to share with us. Oh, in Canada, it's, it's just going to be an ever-growing um, major employer. Uh, just on a side note, Canada has 5,825 seniors over the age of 100. So we're all living longer. That's 25 times larger than the population of seniors over 100 in 2006. Huge, huge. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, increase, yeah. And you can Im yeah. imagine that will only grow, right? So when you come down that to the provincial statistics and all the federal statistics add up to Canada, if you look at the population between the ages of uh, 55 to 64, BC houses seven of the 10 major municipalities for ages, like senior age categories and groups. In wow. other words, we have the highest portion of seniors per city in Canada. Okay, so this, the, the need for this is only gonna grow. Um, tell me this, if people are interested in taking this course, what's available, what, what are people locking into, how long is the course, what happens? Um, all courses run on a standardized curriculum in the province, and they all run, depending on the schedule, between seven and eight months. The delivery of the programs is a little different in the area. Uh, some deliver out of books, lecture learning, and then you go do the hands-on. Or we're one of the only ones in town that actually incorporates the hands-on from day one. So it depends on the style of learning that the student needs also. Some students are great with sitting down, reading a book for five months and happy with that, and that's all they want to know, and then they just go and do it. Others, especially the older we are, need to a little bit more samples and a little bit more hands-on and the younger we are we need to know what we're getting into mm -hmm. right so the younger ones are the ones that really need the desensitizing of course <laughs> uh, so popular that you have started a new intake date we have we've actually added a couple extra intakes we've got one starting on february 11th that class is full and then another one a month later and uh, like I said earlier, it, as long as you pass and, and fulfill the requirements, your chances of getting a job are almost 100%. Uh, they're there. I mean, you can't sit next to somebody during an interview. And, and I always tell students, if you're going to go in to, to deal with seniors with a safety pin in your cheek, you're not going to be hired. But if you go in there and you are going to be accepted by the seniors that you're going to be caring for, in yep. other words, you're just a well-rounded, well-grounded person, Yes. why wouldn't you be hired? Fantastic. Wow. So your next openings are in March. And if people want information, I do have some information on the screen there. Susan Smurthwaite at 310jobs.ca, as well a phone number, which I would assume is the Academy of Learning, 372-5429. Yep. Susan, we have about 30 seconds. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, I think there's a huge need for this area to be covered, especially in Kamloops. We've had a lot of new facilities go in, and not a lot of facilities are expanding. One of them I know in the next year needs 200 people for a new wing they're opening. Wow, so the jobs are there. Uh, Susan, we really appreciate you coming on today. Sounds like you're uh, having a busy time. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, SBCA Adopt-A-Pet Week, we have Tammy McCordoff joining us. Stay with us.